All right, so a couple weeks ago, I purchased these 110 watt mono flexible solar panels. Those things can bend, I think, to like 270 degrees. Very flexible. Um, I have eight of these connected running straight into my EG4 direct solar input. And these were pulling up to 700. I got it up to 700 out of 880 watts possible. Uh, which is really good for for solar panels. And I only paid on Amazon with, I bought the three-year warranty with it on each solar panel, and it was 58 bucks a piece. So it was pretty insane deal on that for flexible. And those will, those will flex like 270 uh, degrees when you bend those. And I just want to grab one of these. And put this up here. Let's see if we can get it over here. So you can see they're 110 watts, 17 volts, 6.47 amps. Um, and they're right around 5 pounds, I think. 5.1 pounds or something. They're not very heavy at all. Um, the... Junction boxes are in the back for the positive and negative, which is a little different. And you have six grommets on these things, but they're um, giving me 80, 85% um, output. So I built that at like a 35 degree angle. But during the winter time, I can actually flip this thing up like this and it'll be... Um, a much uh, better angle because uh, the sun is way up here in the winter time. The sun's like, eh, it's probably like right around here. So I can actually flip that around and mount those on there. And the only thing I have holding on those on there is two self-tapping screws on that. And that just holds pretty good on that. So, but uh, the thing is uh, running that EG4 direct solar uh, input with those eight solar panels and I've got it set on 61 on high and the grid limiter so it's it's hanging right at around 600 watts right now um, where it should be it, it limits right around 600 and I just wanted to share that with you that uh, these things are pretty expensive please like share subscribe hit that notification bell and I'll put links in the description have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day.